Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so put me on game, bro. Let me know. Put me on this anime, bro. I don't usually do stuff like this. I usually try to find things out on my own. But I'm hearing a lot of people saying this show is freaking amazing. It's the masterpiece on the rising, bro. Look. Put me on game. I'm I'm yours. I'm listening. I'm listening. Ears are perked up. You hear it? You put the hood on. We locked in. You guys got to let me know, man. You guys want to watch it, so I'm going to watch it. So, let's check it out, man. I agree that the winter season we just came out of was absolutely stacked in terms of anime. With Attack on Titan Season 4, ReZero Season 2, Mashoku Tensei, and so many more titles, no, promise that, it was no, by far one of the most insane seasons of anime to honestly probably ever exist. That's why it doesn't come as much as a surprise when the spring season feels so much quieter. Sorry about that. I'm Titan, that was the winter season. I actually found myself not looking forward to the season that much because a lot of the shows felt really lackluster. As it currently stands, most of the hype in the community is towards Nagatoro-san, My Hero Season 5, and Shaman King. But there is one show that I have found Bro, what's that so I think good is about really that, underrated that first anime and hardly anybody's about. talking about it. What's actually, so good? I feel what's like what's I have it? to make oh, this go. video to get people to start watching it. And I'm going to open the doors to conversation right now about a show called Vivi. Flora Tell me, bro, Song. Vivi. Okay, come on. When it comes to anime, Time's there have up. not been many shows to initially grab me in the first episode. Steins Gate, Erased, ReZero, and Death Parade are some of the few that have managed to grab my attention and persuade me to keep watching with ease, but these are some of the only few that have managed to do so. I can safely say that Vivi is now included in that list of amazing first episodes, as the first episode of this show has one of the best hooks I have probably ever seen in terms of an anime. It initially starts off in what appears to be like a kind of concert, as one of the characters expresses her desire to want to bring smiles to the people what around is, her. Uh, However, she has blood on her hands, which is a bit off-putting. The timeline then glitches a tiny little bit, and everything changes immediately, as it quickly evolves into mass murder, as we watch what we later find out to be humanoid AIs murdering hundreds of humans. Yo, look at that, Neoland. boy! Neoland is an amusement park run by Ooh. almost entirely AIs, and with AIs being a large portion of the draw for its So it's like a, a robotic type anime? How quickly it devolved, all with a happy, upbeat Vocaloid style music on top of it to add this extra mile of surreality to it. It's also mildly terrifying how the AIs murder with a completely emotionless expression on their faces. Most that's, that's what we saw in Geekon's video. In effort to change the future, a scientist sends an AI from the future called Matsumoto 100 years into the past, where he meets with Vivi, the autonomous AI, to attempt to reconstruct time itself. Autonomous here meaning she can think for herself and she has free will over her actions. Minus some programming her, of course, because she is an AI. Vivi, also known as Diva, is basically Hatsune Miku when we first meet her. Her appearance is oh extremely gosh. Yeah, similar and her the same original thing name too, Diva what the heck? is likely a nod to the series of rhythm games released known as Project Diva. Each AI is given it a mission be. upon birth that they need to serve out throughout their entire existence. And Vivi's purpose is to make everyone smile with her music. She can manipulate her vocal cords and emulate other songs very well, but she hardly manages to garner an audience for herself, as her benches are normally empty. Her one goal from the start is to get to the main stage to reform her songs. However, that goal seems to be a long ways away from being completed. Her only little supporter is her friend Momoka, who is someone she rescued when she got lost from her dad. Momoka gives her a stuffed bear as a birthday present, and Vivi leaves to go start her next performance as she's quote-unquote hacked. This hack is Matsumoto coming into the present, and he informs Vivi about the inevitable war that will come. Since Vivi is the first AI to be self-operating, and one of the only AIs that has lived throughout these 100 years, she was the first one picked to help, and now the future, and the fate of humanity, rests in her hands. This is an wow. excellent twist in itself of a typical AI apocalypse genre. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's the kind of vibe I get from our robot, man. What the heck? The day. For whatever reason, there seems to be a giant following for AI takeover style movies or TV shows. At least, here in the West. Here we see two AIs working together to stop human terrorists and AI attacks to prevent the future from becoming a murder zone. Which, off the bat, is taking a really big trope in this medium and flipping it on its head. The best way ah, to put the show would be dang. the movie Terminator. And the game Detroit Become Human had a baby. And that Yo, baby was this anime. Deep, though, Allow me to crazy. introduce you to Detroit. Become Waifu. Vivi makes a deal with Matsumoto Yo, to go along with him to stop the certain events that eventually lead to catastrophe from happening. And it so far has been an extremely intriguing story. Vivi has been an amazing character to watch, as because of her being an AI, she is extremely selfless. She goes out of her way to save others in ways humans could not, and she displays acts of compassion and ignores her own goal to sing and make people smile often in needs of helping others. This anime 
anime is being written by Tepe Nagatsuki, which some of you may recognize as the writer of the ReZero Light novels, and also being uh, written by Eiji Uhara, oh, that's him. the writer that's of the him. critically acclaimed visual novel Chaos Shadow. I don't Shadow. know if the eye Chaos Shadow ever, but these are Light novels. I don't know if part of ReZero Light novels. So it's clear that Nagatsuki liked his work and wanted to make something together with him. This anime is also being made animated by none other than Wit Studio, the makers of the first three seasons of Attack on Titan, Vinland Saga, The Great Pretender, so on and so forth. So naturally, off of that from the studio, you know that it's going to be an absolutely gorgeous yes, looking anime. Tackle and Titan, oh my gosh, trust uh, me, is it beautiful? They really did outdid what? themselves. Tackle Titan. So on and so forth. So naturally, off of that, anime is also being made animated by none other than Wit Studio, the makers of the first three seasons of Attack on Titan, Vinland Saga, Vinland the Great Saga. Pretender, so on and Tackle so Titan, forth. Vinland so Saga. naturally, off of that from the studio, so you know that it's going to be, be an absolutely cool, gorgeous cool, looking anime. Cool, and oh my gosh, see? trust me, right. is it beautiful? They really outdid themselves with how visually gorgeous it was good. The I mean, animation and was lastly, really great. as far as the it. credits go, is to Jin Agatakawa, who worked on the soundtrack for Anohana, Fire Horse, ReZero, A Certain Scientific Railgun, and like a lot of other shows. This guy is kind of everywhere, but he makes really good music. Honestly, with Damn, how stacked okay. the people behind this show are, it's really not a surprise how good it's been just from the three episodes alone. I'll be the first to admit that this anime did not stand out to me at all, actually. And oh, I expected wow. so it to be fairly really boring. Going, huh? It okay. appeared to be some kind of That's idol anime know. from its title, and I'm not normally an idol kind of guy, so I just let it slide by. But once I heard that my boy Nagatsuki was working on it, I could not have been more interested. I love this man and his work. This anime is leagues above the other shows airing this season. And honestly, some of the shows that aired last season in terms of quality, story, and character. Wow, this so was that good? So grounded so, hey, and story, real okay. that I'm completely and I can tell it's a series, And despite this series, world I'm being not completely the fictional series, and like, impossible you know, to not, today's standards, no it feels so full of life. It's, 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 Every it's, part it's, of this world is written with color and vibrancy. I feel as if I could travel into town and see these buildings and this scenery there right in front of me. The characters oh, all move so smoothly, like, you know, like and everything in the watch. show has been nothing short of gorgeous. I know I said that earlier, but seriously, yeah, I, I can tell. just this not looks stress this looks how deep. beautiful this looks. Wit Studios continues to rip. impress with their dedication at, like, to bring us absolutely stunning here, like, video, animation. This looks and the story like, this so looks far has been intense. compelling as their actions do clearly you know, have an effect on the future. I'm super invested in whether Vivi will be able to reshape time and how her character will evolve. And I love Matsumoto as his character is filled with sarcasm and energy from the moment he's brought onto the screen. However, one thing that Matsumoto does is that he keeps Vivi from doing anything that isn't related to their objective or that isn't in the calculations he has. It's completely possible that Matsumoto is not giving Vivi the complete truth and that he is simply emulating or predicting events from calculations he's been making from things around him. He's mentioned something like this already once and it's quite possible that Matsumoto is leading Vivi down a future to be the one that makes this first scene from episode 1 happen. For right now though, this first scene in episode 1 is probably the biggest mystery in this show. Who is the scientist? And what is his connection to Vivi? How did did you save him from rock bottom? Who is this dead AI on the ground? You can tell it's an AI from the amount of blood fluids pouring from its body and the color of these fluids. Who are these characters in the church? The man on the left appears to be the guy from the intro, and he's talking to an AI as indicated by the mark on her neck. Do AIs advance enough to develop romantic feelings, and are they romantically invested in one another? Who are these trio of girls? The story seems to be progressing in a form where each arc is going to be anywhere from two to four episodes long, and I could not be more excited to see how this is going to be unfolded before our eyes. As it stands right now, the first arc is easily an eight or a nine for me in terms of enjoyment, as it serves as a great introduction to the show and this world as a whole. As I said earlier, the story is indeed really engaging and it is very interesting in how it is a race against time, since Vivi has to be quick in her acting and her thinking to keep certain events from transpiring. In a way, it is I'm almost as if the story is at clock, we, we and it is endlessly saying, ticking towards this future that may you know, or may not happen. The action so far has been better than both Shonen Aaron recently. Minus Dang, Jujutsu Kaisen. Wow, that's I really actually, do think that's this anime is off to a genuinely a amazing statement. start. The next arc of the show seems to be that's taking place statement. in space, and so oh, far yeah. it's very interesting as we're already seeing how quickly the world around Vivi is evolving. The trio of girls in the first episode in that scene that I mentioned earlier are actually introduced in this episode of the show, as they are shown to be able to laugh, to smile, and have unique personalities from one another. They even learn to gossip and to spread rumors. It's extremely possible that these AIs can develop down the line to have emotions and have feelings such as love for one another. It is really crazy how quickly these AIs seem to be evolving. Either way, because of this evolution that has been shown, I am really interested to see how this world will grow and how Vivi and the world will grow and change as well. If you watch this video through, do yourself 
It streams new episodes every Saturday on Funimation, and I cannot express how much of an experience this show is to watch. And I don't think I'll be able to do this show completely justice in a video until it's completely out and I can talk about spoilers for it. Wit has shown itself time and time again in recent years to be one of the best studios in the modern era, and I think this anime is going to be their best work since Vinland Saga. I don't think you want to miss out on watching this anime fulfill its vision. Yeah. Now it's time to answer some questions, since I did hit 5,000 subscribers. So since I did hit 5,000 yeah, subscribers for my next 5 videos, I will be answering questions for this q and I've been doing, so leave some comments down below, and I may or may not All answer right, them. Man. It you just depends me. on how many you there are. Me. First question is a two-parter and comes from my boy Philip slash Figar from my Patreon. He asks, 1. Do you have any personal goals that you want to reach this year, YouTube-related right, so or not? Questions. Well, I do have... Hey, man. Got me, bro. Goals. I'm gonna One check it out. I uh, appreciate that. I definitely feel like I, this was an important watch. I had to, I had to. I mean, who knows? Let's react. Remember, guys, we're all watching this together, so maybe he'll put us on. He put us on. Like maybe you guys haven't watched the anime. He maybe put you guys on because he put me on for sure. I gotta put. I gotta watch it. I'm definitely. I got stuff to do over the weekend. You feel me? All right, guys. So yeah, this is. Uh, that's it for today's video, man. Shout out to my guy. What's his name? I don't even catch his name. Mr. Hunter, oh gosh, Mr. Hunter, he about to hit 6,000 subs, so, yo, good shit, boy, hold on, I'm gonna leave a like, God, leave a like and a sub, bro, God, support, you know, show love, put some notifications on, hey, man, appreciate that, bro, uh, I don't know if you'll see this video, man, uh, appreciate it, bro, you guys are, you, yeah, I'm definitely gonna be watching this MA, and I'll be sure to mention you, so, Anyway, guys, uh, it's been MJJ, aka Monster Marcus, aka King Marcus. I'll see you guys in the next video. Next video should be the EZ EDP situation. Uh, we're going to finish our little mini series on that, and then we're going to put that to rest because I'm done talking about it. And uh, you guys have been showing support, so you guys must be like, bro, this morning, right? I woke up, bro. Uh, that video, the recent EDP video I put out, it had 33 views. It jumped from 33 to like 100 and like, so 30. you guys, that video blew up, so. I think let's put this three part EDP series. Like I said, it really kind of bothers me that this really happened. I was actually looking. I'm not gonna lie. I was looking at some of his older videos. Like man, this guy, bro, is, is doing that kind of stuff. It stung, bro. I'm not even gonna cap, but it is what it is. I'll see you guys in the next video, and uh, yeah, stay safe, stay fresh, and uh, yeah, bye, Z.